I bought this Hagibis USB-C hub to add additional ports to my Mac Mini M1. I got this particular model because it can house one M.2 NVMe SSD and one 2.5-inch SATA SSD. I will use this as my working drive where my active projects and corresponding resources will be stored. That's why I got me an XPG SX8600 Pro M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. It has maximum performance of 3500 megabytes per second read and write up to 3000 megabytes per second. Although the Hagibis manual said, when using the hub with the new M1 Mac, I will not get the rated speed, but it's still very fast. This will cost around 9,000 pesos when released here in the Philippines. This is the XPG8600 Pro, and this is the included heatsink. Now let's do the installation. For the installation, I will open the bottom panel of the Hagibis USB-C hub. I peeled off the heatsink's double adhesive and attached it to the SX8600. I just inserted the XPG SX8600 Pro into the slot, making sure it is in the right orientation. Then, I will close the bottom panel and boot up my Mac Mini M1. First, I'm going to test the read and write speed of different drives using Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. The hard drives and SSDs that we are going to test are what I am currently using. This will show if getting the XPG SX8600 Pro will improve my current video editing workflow. This was my working drive for over two years now. It performed well with my iMac 2011. It is fast enough but slower than USB-C drives. This is my current working drive. This SATA SSD performs slower when connected with the USB-C hub. Now that I have seen the speed of this drive, I would definitely get a higher capacity next time. The speed of this SSD is not fully utilized because of the USB-C hub, but it's still faster than the other drives except the Mac Mini SSD. Now I will test the transfer speed using a 4GB file, Mac Mini SSD to LaCD2, LaCD2 to Mac Mini SSD, Mac Mini SSD to LaC SSD, LaC SSD to Mac Mini SSD, Mac Mini SSD to XPG SX8600 Pro, XPG SX8600 Pro to Mac Mini SSD. This is the comparative graph for the three external drives. Now I'm going to test the three drives on actual rendering on Adobe Premiere Pro. LACI D2 LACI External SSD Mac Mini M1 XPG SX8600 Pro Rendering straight from the Mac Mini SSD takes almost half the time of the other drives. After 5 tests, the other drives have little difference in export times. This test proved that adding an SSD to my Mac Mini M1 will greatly improve my video editing workflow. Some people might say that I should have ordered a larger capacity SSD, so I am going to compare the price difference. Mac Mini M1 plus 256GB SSD plus USB-C hub plus the, the M.2 SSD. Mac Mini with 1TB SSD. Based on the comparison, the Mac Mini M1 with 256GB plus 1TB SSD with additional ports is still cheaper than the Mac Mini M1 with 1TB SSD. If you have questions regarding the Mac Mini M1, the Hagibis USB-C hub, 
or the XPG SX8600 Pro, please feel free to leave a message.